Hey Snapchat Pally. I am super sore in my upper body from going back to CrossFit after two weeks. So I'm convincing myself that sprinting up running is the easy choice today. You guys always see me running and I've always got headphones in. People are like, what do you listen to to keep you going on these insane workouts? I've never talked about this. Yes, I'll let you all know now. What is my serious pump up music? Uh, it's not. It's audiobooks. Yeah, I listen to literature while I work out. Yeah, and it's not even entertaining stories. I listen to nonfiction, so stuff like negotiation and efficiency and tapping creativity. Oh my goodness, I'm lame. So when you see me tearing around on my bike or dying on a sprint, chances are there's some dude in my ear talking about how to improve my business. Apparently there's a super moon tonight. Look at that. It is so bright. And yes, I did come outside to look at it, but I did not put pants on to do that. Just texted my friend about my pantsless moon gazing, and she said I was mooning the moon, and that joke was worth retelling to you. Check it out, pallies. American signs? This is ground zero for step and repeats. It's where they come from. What? I'm driving somewhere, not biking? Well, it's because I'm headed to a video shoot and the studio is my car. Yep, I've got the setup since when Stevie and I shot. One of my friends and I are shooting a video about dancing in your car, so we're gonna show you how to do it, which will be hilarious and awkward. my co-star. What up? Do you remember Spanky V from the YouTube shoot? Yeah. Um, we just shot something ridiculous. You're gonna love it. I just made her <laughs> get naked and drive around LA with me. How did, how was that? She's a trooper. I don't expect anything less from you. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for putting up with me. Guess, guess, guess why Spags is biking through Hollywood in the evening. Yeah, I'm going to a premiere. Go an island. Look at this magic. Woo. Just kidding, we're not partying. First, we're doing a live stream. Look at the setup. Dope. I guess you can watch this on MTV's Facebook. Go see that. I came early for the live stream, which means no one's here yet. I literally have a Dave and Buster's to myself. This is insane! No, guys, like, they haven't let anyone in yet. I just had to go to the bathroom, and so now, this place is mine? <laughs> one last night but I'm still making it to CrossFit because it is my last CrossFit workout before the CrossFit competition this weekend and now I've organically said CrossFit four times in ten seconds. That's what they call a bar and that's what they call a girl bar because I can't lift as heavy as everyone else and also that's sexist. Oh why Spags biking through Hollywood in the evening? Well, no joke, I was supposed to go to a movie premiere tonight, but I figure you've seen too many step and repeat. Instead, I'm showing you an arm wrestling competition. I won't be wrestling, I'm in an entourage. They run it like the WWE, so they play characters. Andy's the one wrestling, and she will be Reba Smackintyre. You may have noticed that I am head to toe in brown, and I have my ukulele. Andy told me that I will be performing as a musical worm. But weirdness coming soon. This is where it's happening. Look at this set. We're here early to rehearse. She's gonna explain to me how I'm gonna be a musical worm. 
Hi, Andy. Hey. Now we're backstage. It's even more crazy than on stage. And Andy handed me cardboard and said, make yourself look more like a worm. And here you go. Given the circumstances, I feel like I crushed it. Guys, go look up Tremors. Reva McIntyre was in Tremors. I, I actually look like a Tremor. <laughs> First things first, I'm not really One, Reba McIntyre has a song called Fancy. It's not that song, but we're doing that yes, one. you want chance fancy, don't let me dance. This is a fundraiser for non-profits in our community. Each time we do a magic support different charity tonight. No soul. Square it up. Which you can win for one dollar. As much as one dollar. Come on, Brenton! Come on, Brenton! I missed that screening, but I'm still gonna go to the after party. I changed my pants. I'm still inappropriately dressed, but at least I'm not a worm anymore. And in case you're wondering, I'm currently listening to the Fitfluential podcast because my friend who worked on it saw that I don't listen to music when I work out, and he's like, check this out! Found well, the after party and Alyssa. Uh, did you like the film? video shoot but they ended up rapping before I could get there so now I'm just skating around with full makeup and hair and I have to point this out it's some serious scab chat guys look I burned my arm curling my hair this morning and it's uh, it's all for nothing it hurts so bad I just finished editing my YouTube video for tomorrow and I can't even be excited about that because I had to use my mouse to do it and it's right on that spot guys seriously it's it's bad it's embarrassing I've been periodically icing it while I'm working it happened because the cord got caught in my drawer and ripped the curling iron out of my hand and landed on my arm. It's not my fault! Guys, can you imagine if I was a beauty guru online? <laughs> I'd just be in constant pain, just like screwing things up. This is also why I don't cook. I just spent like an hour working on a new Instagram mashup for you. And no joke, I was so focused I forgot this existed and now I can't feel it at all. Seriously, music heals all things. I'm in your own night. Kickboxing, which means putting a glove on my arm. So, uh, I did this. Pretty badass. I survived. It actually wasn't that bad, but it's like weirdly purple now. Yeah, I don't know. This is not good. I'm a doof. Came to a going away party, so I had to leave my apartment, but I uh, did it with protection. Like this shirt. My competition is in two days, so my trainer told me to rest today. So obviously I'm going to a workout event for influencers. 
Don't worry, I have protection. I can guarantee I am the only person that skateboarded here. This is cool. Hi, what did you bring me to? It's an exclusive weird event. It's not weird, it's dope. Why are you in the back row? Are you it's not, there's another back row. Okay, you a fitness misfit? No. The workout is over and oh my god, there's a step and repeat. They gave us breakfast too. Obviously, I've already crushed mine. I like ketchup. Oh, what's your second? <laughs> they gave us gift bags as we left, which had a free workout. And what is this? The fanciest water bottle I've ever seen. Like, I'm not special enough to drink out of this. That breakfast at the event interfered with my same breakfast, but I, uh, Still had same breakfast, and obviously I crushed it the same way. I just released that video I did about stuffing, and I still have stuffing left, and I can't not eat it. I'm eating it dry right now. This is terrible. Just figured I'd compare my burn to Ashton. Look, he's got a little bit of a wound here, too. Hello, hello, I just left a voice lesson. I'm working on a new one gal band. What's up? How stoked are you? And it's absurd. It's a mashup of seven different songs. Ooh, crap, I was supposed to be resting these past two days for the competition tomorrow, and then I biked. I'm hoping Megan isn't watching this, my partner tomorrow. Look, I'm fine. We're gonna be great tomorrow. My going away party on Wednesday was for my friend Ashley, who's moving to New York. And so I'm painting her a palm tree to remind her of L.A. It's Ashley's last night, so I should go out with her, but also I should be sleeping because that competition is super early tomorrow. So I'm dropping off her painting and I'm wearing sweatpants to make sure that I don't party. Although an elastic waistband hasn't generally stopped me from turning up in the past. Party is happening. There's, there's I just had some carbs. That is my current version of turning up. I'm up. I'm ready to go. I've got my most intimidating hairstyle and I'm headed to the CrossFit competition. And at this CrossFit competition, should we maybe see how many times we can say CrossFit. Here I'm checked in. The event is at Mutiny CrossFit. They called us over to go over rules. I think there's like tools we have to use. I mean, I actually know what I'm doing. They keep calling us athletes, which is pretty up. And then you can go into your snatches. Alright. We're going over how to work out. <laughs> Clearly wearing my most intimidating glasses and also. <laughs> person has said CrossFit to me yet. Like, do CrossFitters not say CrossFit as much as I thought? I'm disappointed. Oh. Holy hell, I was nervous and that made me way more nervous. This is my teammate, tall. I'm small. Fuck Thorum. Hey Megan, what are you doing? I'm in lane 8, so I gotta stand here before we go. So nervous. Okay, wait, this first. Okay, it's go time, this is our lane. I gotta put you down now, because I have to work out. That weight is 55. And I have never snatched that way before, I just got a PR in competition. <laughs> that was seven minutes of a workout, and now we have an hour and a half until the next one, so we're just like sitting around. You get all pumped, and then you just, I don't know, nap. The boys are going now. Second workout is over, I'm proteining. It was cardio, so not as much of a challenge as the next one, which is gonna be heavy weights. Uh -oh. <laughs> what you just saw was a workout I just did. 
but with less weight because those girls are beasts. But I just want to reiterate that we're doing this to crown the best worker ever. Cross it. <laughs> like a competition for motocross fit. I have two hours between my workouts. Lots of people do too, so they put up tents and take naps and eat protein and crush it. I had my burn wrapped, but it also goes up to my hand. I didn't think I showed you that before, but I just ripped it open and it was like oozing earlier. I'm curious guys, uh, what kind of workout are we doing here? You're supposed to say CrossFit! Megan was like, I'm gonna stop at 85. And then she hit 90. She was like, oh, I'm gonna stop. 